I study the universe and I try and ask questions about the whole universe. So I ask questions about you know, how big is it? How old is it? How did it begin? You know, is it growing? How much? How fast? What's going to happen to it in the end? And I just think those are the neatest questions to ask. They're the questions I want to know the answer to. I'm actually a professor on, the, on campus at Princeton University. IAS has been part of my life all the time that I've been, a, been an academic at Princeton because we have this amazingly close connection with the Institute. I'm not the person who's known since a young age that I wanted to do this. Maths was also my, always my favourite subject at school. I just loved it and I loved using it and I, I, I grew to realise that you then can use maths to ask questions about the world around us. I, I understood only kind of when I was maybe 17 or 18 that there was a connection between using math tools and using them to actually answer questions about the world around us. Once I'd made that connection, it seemed quite natural that I wanted to study physics. I did actually have a very good high school physics teacher, and I think she, she sort of normalised the fact that, you know, you saw women being physicists. Um, but I went to college, to university, and I had very few women um, professors or teachers in any way there. But I, I kept going, and now I get to work with, you know, a whole bunch of great women, both senior to me and also and junior. Um, so there's, there's hope. I think the pursuit of knowledge is important because it enriches our lives. I ask questions about what's up there. If we'd never asked or never pursued the finding out of what's up there, then we would just see the scattered speckles of the stars, but we wouldn't even know they were stars. We'd just see the you know, ta tapestry of lights above us. It would be beautiful, but it's more beautiful when you know how much more there is up there and how it works.